time we're still getting used to the new arrangement here. It is time to get our pickle on. <laughs> Take that for what it is. Joining us with how to make your own pickles, our foodie queen, give it up for Stephanie Hansen, everyone. <laughs> What are you doing? You not back? What are you doing? Weird, no, just being weird. Okay. You know, I Hi, Steph. do weird things on TV. Hi. That's right. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm um I'm having a little bit of sore arm because I have pickled like 58,000 things. Okay. And so what did I do? I closed up the cabin. I packed up all my vegetables and I came to see you at the Jason show. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Now this is this easy no really because our mutual friend my radio girl uh dear friend alexis thompson she loves to pickle things and it always seems it seems labor intensive yeah they're at water bath canning can be challenging and water bath canning pickles i have found very challenging i never get them crispy enough i never know do you leave the seeds in do you not leave the seeds I just, I end up like with all these pickles that I end up having to make pickle pot roast because they're too mushy and not great. <laughs> Which that's the recipes on the website too if you have a fail, but. Okay, so, yeah. So what do we do? Okay, so my friend Jill heard me lamenting about my pickle problems and she was like, oh, you just need to do refrigerator pickles like our moms did. So what you do is you put whatever you want pickled. It could be beans, it could be cucumbers. I like to put a little pepper in for color. I also put some garlic in. Okay. I like the little spicy sitch, so I've got some jalapenos down there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up two quarts full of vegetables. Two and quarts? Yeah, so it could be like beans, it could be beets, it could be asparagus. You could really do anything. Okay. I like it hot, so I'm gonna continue to put my little peppers in there. And if you want it, how, like, how, how many things do you want to put in there? I usually put one whole jalapeno in each of my pickled jars because I do really like it hot. Okay. And I'm going to even spice it up a little bit more. But you could put like, dill fronds. You could put... What's dill fronds? Like the, the herb dill that oh, has a flower on it. Got it. Okay. Like, I think, does this one have that, an herb frond in it? Yeah, it does. See at the bottom there a little... These are sure, water I'm just bath take your pickles. Work for it. Okay, yeah. So right. yeah, different process, but okay. still delicious. So all right, so we've got all our pickly things. Why don't you put some garlic in each of the jars? Yes, ma'am. And there's a whole recipe, but I'm gonna make one that's like real spicy sitch. Okay. And that's with the jalapenos, and I'm putting in some Szechuan peppercorns. And then I'm gonna make just a little like dilly garden vegetable spicy one with a little dill. Okay. Okay. So then you take. I've had two cups of water, two cups of vinegar, and I've had this going. I'm gonna put my sugar in. And you need the sugar to balance out the vinegar. Don't try to skimp on the sugar like I did. I was like, I don't want all that sugar. You need the sugar, because otherwise they're too bitter. Oh, that's good. Because that looks like a lot, and it I does. would, okay, but it's not. It's not when it's all said and done, because you're trying to neutralize the vinegar. Okay. And, like pickles have zero calories in them anyway. Yeah. So you put your. It's a good snack for me, girl. I'm like, I'm always. Do you always... know? Whoop. Okay, this is because I'm always on the quest to lose weight. See how it's working? Um, I think you're beautiful, but if, go ahead. Thank you. If you have sugar, like cravings at night, yeah. if you eat a pickle, it stops the cravings. Oh. Yeah, it does. Really? Yeah, I don't know why, but it does. There's something about the sour tartness of the pickle. Oh, so all okay. we're gonna do, you guys, is we're just gonna fill up these jars and then here's the magic secret. You set them upside down for an hour. And what, what happens is- What do you is, set, the, you set the jars upside down? Yep. And what happens is, is the pressure from the Why did I ask liquid, what you said? Of course you, why did I ask what you set upside down? Your husband, <laughs> why, I mean, wait, of course it's the pickle jars, Jason. Yeah. Cause we're on TV and when you're on TV, you end up saying dumb things. I know. I don't know. Yeah, have you Not watched? You, no, but, have you, know, you watched our show? General. Yeah. <laughs> We wouldn't have a show if that didn't happen. All right, so we're just gonna seal these up, and they're hot. And if my hands worked and weren't so Here, sore, I could Lord. seal it. Why is your hand? Why are your hands? Sore? I just cut too many things and I screwed too many jars shut. What are you doing at the farm, girl? What do you I mean? The hell you like, at the farm? I know. I am like Betty from Anoka up on the farmstead. Okay. Okay. Oh, now, this is hot. Yep. Yeah, screw it on. Turn okay. it upside down. Okay. So. <laughs> You leave this you, you know it's a nice audience when they're applauding us flipping a, a canister over. But look how pretty they 
they look. They are pretty. You leave them undisturbed for an hour or two just on your counter just like that. Okay. What's happening is, is it's going to seal it with the heat. Of, it's the pressure, it's the liquid coming down to temperature, so it's creating like a pressure sealed vacuum. Then you're gonna flip them up and you're just gonna put them in the refrigerator. They last anywhere from two weeks to two months. I'll be honest, you know, my safety standards are different than most people. I just eat them until they stink. <laughs> don't. When they don't taste. That's not a scientific thing. No, nope, it's not. But when they don't smell right or you feel a little nervous, then stop. Before we have to go, no, we're oh. not done. What, what, what are we looking at? The pickle at? nipple. If you're someone that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with cabbage and fermenting cabbage. So this is just cabbage and salt. But there's this thing, and it's like a little nipple. And it allows the gases to come out of the ferment, but the bacteria can't get in. So you need I've to get some pickle, a pickle nipple before. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing though, because I used to like oh the mold and is it okay and no the pickle nipple is where it's at. Can you? Okay. <laughs> I made pickles for you. I Thank brought you. you a pickle nipple. I, I mean, fermented. what more? I know you fermented vegetables for Again. me. Uh, we're not done with Steph. Uh, her and her pickle nipple are coming back <laughs> when we return. It's Ask Stephanie next. Stay with us. That's fun. Hi. Welcome back. I'm in the audience. I love. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Mickey Mouse, I love that. Anyway, it's time to put Stephanie Hansen to the test. We're letting our audience ask her food and dining questions. Ooh. Stephanie, are you ready? I am ready. That's right, okay. okay. Where's Jane? Jane, stand up. Give it up for Jane, everyone. Come over here, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hello. What's your question for Steph Aru? Hi, Steph. Um, Hi, Jane. I made your chive vinegar, which we love in our vinaigrettes. But if we use them on the pickles, um, is that flavor gonna be lost? Yeah, it's too, um, it's too subtle. subtle. So I would just use regular distilled vinegar. And if you want an oniony flavor, put onions in. Okay. Or put chive blossoms in, but it's not in season when you're pickling, so you kind of have the disconnect there. But put onions in, or uh, you could put scallions. You can pickle cocktail onions too. I don't know if you know that, but they're very good in a martini. Thanks. Pickle. Yeah, but I would save your chive vinegar for your delicate salads. Okay, thanks. Uh, scallions can be pickled? Yeah. And that's good in a martini? Well, um, the little cocktail onions yeah. are good in martinis. Oh, I, okay, yeah. that's what they are. I was thinking a little thing. Okay, good you question. You could use scallion, though, too, Jason. Like, okay. Why not? Thanks, Steph, for giving me permission on that one. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Where's Kim? Kim, give it up for Kim, everyone. Hi, Kim. Oh, Jason. Nice so to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your and question Stephanie for Steph? Is so beautiful. Isn't I, she I love beautiful? Watching stuff. I know oh, she's great. You, she's so popular. And at the state fair. Yeah. Um, my husband and I can pickles in Alm or pickle crisp. Well, I don't use it, but people swear by it. I'm just they use Alm. Okay. And it's it's a citric acid that gives you a crisp pickle. Now you can mimic that if you want to when you're canning with just lemon juice. That's what I do because okay. I don't like buying chemically things. Um, so just lemon juice, but the alm is the citric acid. Okay. And I'm telling you, I can can and pickle, but I have not perfected crispy pickles yet. It's a skill. I'm not there yet. I'm still working on okay. it. And we, oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah. go and ahead. And we learned a new thing with turning it upside down. Yeah, the that's refrigerator like awesome. pickles that's totally are easy. Fun. Just do for refrigerator pickles, so that's awesome. Yeah, Thank really you so easy. Much. You don't have to do the water bath. Just keep them in the refrigerator. Simple. Okay. Thank Thanks. you, Kim. Thank you. Where's uh, Lori? Lori, are you Lori over there? Okay, I'm walking over here. Camera, follow me. Follow me. Where's Lori? Is there a Lori? <laughs> Did Lori leave? Jackie. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> Come here. Jackie, Come right Lori. here. Come right here. She wrote Lori. <laughs> What's your question, Lori? Uh, 
Um, do you ever pickle northern fish? The oh, northern fish? No. Um, no. I find canned meat terrifying. <laughs> But I do love like smoked fish in like with horseradish and mayonnaise and a little sour cream in a smoky little dip that you have your crackers and your veggies and your cukes. Make dip. Um, do you smoke fish and candy? Pickle? No, pickle, I like to eat it. I have never done it. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were pulling some out of your pocket right there. <laughs> Sit down, Lori. <laughs> Pickled herring is just too much Norway for me. <laughs> that was terrifying. I know. I don't do pickled herring. No. I'm sorry. I know. Do you see Jackie though? Jackie was getting ready. I thought, is she pulling out like a bass? <laughs> I have some smoked bass right here. Do we have time for one more? We do. I don't know. Is Linda here? Yeah. Oh, it's Linda. Yeah. Come over here, sweetheart. God, I love, it's so good to meet you. I love your Mickey Mouse. It's, anyway. It's Minnie. It's, is it Minnie? It's my Minnie dress. Oh, it is, yeah. but there's Mickey on it too. No, no, they no. Oh, it's just Minnie. Yeah, you're right, okay. I felt, I don't mean to be just staring at you, but anyway, what's your question for Stefferoo? Stephanie, my daughter canned um, dill pickles and about a week later she opened them and it looked like she put Mentos in there. It was all bubbly and stuff. Are they safe to eat? No. Oh, why didn't that, okay, we no, didn't eat them. Anything that when you open it, is like a geyser and erupting or bubbling or looking like it has stuff Wait, floating oh. on the top. Nope, you're done. Okay. And if you do, if you are canning something and after a day you don't get a good seal, you can refrigerate it and then you can eat it because it's fine until it's done. But yeah. Okay. If so it's fermenty and bubbly and nope, no good. No good. Away. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Thank you everybody for all of Stephanie's recipes. And her picks go to stephaniesdish.com. <laughs> and don't forget, Stephanie's cookbook, True North Cabin Cookbook, is available right now. Go get it, everybody. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. <laughs>